What's up everybody? Thank you so much for joining me. It's your boy Alan Wade back again with another informative video with some tips and tricks for my fellas. Guys, um, a lot of times when we're garment decorating, we tend to make things that we like. But I encourage you to kind of think outside the box a little bit. Something I've been noticing and something you guys might want to pay attention to closely. Um, let me show you guys. Heat Trans Warehouse has these templates that you can buy, right? And these are rhinestone templates. This is one of them. This is one of them, right? This is one of them. And the list goes on and on. They have so many available on their website that are already made that you can purchase, as well as diamond packages like, well, I, I say diamond, rhinestone packages that you can purchase and make your own template. And we're gonna get into some of that in future videos, but for right now, let's just talk about what I'm noticing and what you guys might need to pay attention to. Okay, so if you have an online store and you're not selling as much as you would like, maybe you should consider who your audience is and who exactly who is uh, watching your videos, if you're a content creator or stuff like that. But going away to these different expos made me realize that a large percentage of the people that watch my videos are women, right? And even in my YouTube matrix, a lot of the people that watch my videos are women. But I keep on making stuff for men and it's got me thinking like maybe I should like refocus a little bit on the ladies. Both because um, that's who's watching the videos, that's who's benefiting from the videos, that's who finds my content interesting. So I need to make content more for women. And in making content more for women, maybe I should do some more things that women like, like rhinestones. So Heat Transfer Warehouse has rhinestone templates that you guys can purchase and use for your business to sell to some women because a lot of you guys, if, if I made that mistake, I highly doubt that I'm the only person that's making that mistake. And there are probably a large percentage of you who are missing out on an opportunity to make a lot of money by making things that women like, like I was, right? But now we're gonna start shifting things a little bit more in the channel and gearing up and focusing more on content that women like because a lot of the times, even on a regular basis, women buy more stuff for, you know, women shop more. So yeah, check out Heat Transfer House. Use my Heat Transfer House link down in the description below to purchase your supplies. Um, and we'll get into all that. We'll make a more intricate video on exactly what all you need to start making some um, glitter. I mean, some, I keep on saying glitter. <laughs> some uh, rhinestone templates and stuff like that for your designs and go into Silhouette Studio, as well as some other softwares and talk about how we make these templates so you can start making your own custom stuff. But for right now, we have these transfers that Heat Transfer House has available. Like I said, you can go check out the website. Use my link in the description below to see what they have. But let's go ahead and press on one of these. It seems very, very easy. Like the only thing we have to do is 310 degrees for 15 seconds, like it says on here. 310 degrees, 15 seconds, firm pressure, medium to firm pressure, and a cold peel. Let's see how accurate that is. I'm gonna press this one right here, so uh, our heat press is already heated up. So let's go over and press myself an extra large shirt which this is with this design on it. Let's go. All right, so our heat press is all heated up, 310 degrees, 15 seconds. Think got it on a medium, kind of a medium pressure. And here we have, of course, our Bella canvas rolled sleeve style 3004 jersey nothing but the best we're going to give it a pre-press just so we can get the wrinkles out and we're going to test this heat transfer warehouse stuff just to see how good it works or if it works at all hmm how about that guys um because you know we're going to make our own going to have the templates available soon on alanawade.com let's press this real fast to get the wrinkles out. Of course, we gotta com compete with heat transfer house and see, we, they got some good transfers over there. Um, so we gotta see what we can come up with. All right, so let's see. Looks like this already has a sheet right here. So I guess we just get this off of here with the rhinestones. Okay, there we go. We got an edge right here. 
and we're just gonna pull this back off of the carrier sheet. Wow, look at that. Just pulls it off just like that, huh? All the rhinestones are gone off of here, and I'm just gonna carefully place it on my Bella Canvas jersey right here. All right, okay, that's about good placement. Get it down nice and good like. All right, so when we have our shirt placed, our design placed into our liking on our shirt, that's when we can go and press it. But this to me is a carrier sheet, so you don't have to use any Teflon, but I always like to protect my precious. But um, in this case, I know this is a carrier sheet, it should be fine, so I'm just gonna press it 15 seconds, and we're gonna wait for that cold peel. Firm pressure, that's like kind of between firm and medium. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Auto open with our Walla Press Pro. Use my heat transfer house link in the description below to purchase your Walla Press Pro. We're gonna wait for this to cool off because like I said, it is a cold peel. That's what it says on the instructions. So we'll wait for it to cool off and then we'll see exactly how it came out. Let's go over here to our, our desk so you guys can see us pull this off. Let's go. Man, stop playing. Y'all see that Bella Canvas logo right there. When you see that Bella Canvas logo, you know it's nothing but the best, but our design is pretty much cool, so let's go ahead and grab a corner and peel this thing off and see what we got. Ooh, and guys, guess what? I'm gonna give it one last press. I'm gonna give it one last, oh, this looks good. I'm gonna give it one last press just so I can make sure all the diamonds, um, all the, I keep on saying diamonds, all the um, rhinestones sink in, and then we're gonna try it on for size. Let me give it one more press. I'll be right back, guys. All my rhinestone professionals, y'all can tell me, is one last press even necessary? I think not, but just to make sure to add to the longevity, I wanna give it one more last press, just, to, just, just for me, you know? You know what they should make? Oh, and I turned off my heat press. You know what they should make, guys? They should make a heat press that heats up from the bottom, especially for rhinestones, right? Instead of heating up from the top, maybe it should heat up from the bottom, right? Hmm, interesting. All right, so our rhinestones are in there and not going anywhere, guys. Let's put the shirt on and see exactly what it looks like, fellas. All right, let's go. All right, so there you have it. This is Bella Canvas Style 3004 jersey with the cuff sleeve. And we have our heat transfer house pattern on top of it with some rhinestones on here. Let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you think could be beneficial for your business? It's definitely gonna be beneficial for your business, in my opinion, on this Bella Canvas Style 3004 for a fact. My mind's made up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, guys. A rhinestone is something that you're doing. Am I too late to the party? Uh, is this something that I should start doing? Let me know what you guys think. I already know what I'm going to do. I'm definitely going to start making some rhinestone templates, and I'm definitely going to start making some rhinestone designs to put in my merch store, allenaway.com. So check it out there, guys. Stay tuned for all that stuff coming along soon. Use my heat transfer house link down in the description below to purchase your rhinestone products that you need to make your rhinestones. Like I said, we'll make future videos telling you guys exactly all what you need to get into rhinestone making and we'll do some template making tutorials also. But let me know what you guys think about the shirt. Is it something that you can wear? Can I pull it off? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. It's your boy, Alan Wade. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up if you like content like this. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Oh, hey. How you doing? <laughs>